peace, love, and light beyond the spectrum. And this is a daily check-in with Mother Earth, uh, the energies, the esoteric energies around us, uh, the cosmic frequencies. So I'm just going to jump right in. So I have the Statue of Liberty, but it came out upside down. So that tells me a few things about New York. Heads up, New York, upside down. But the Statue of Liberty, um, that would be Hecate. Okay, and then we have, um, this is a, I'm being shown, this is a gateway that's being used through the South Pole. Okay, they're using, because Hecate is a, is a gatekeeper. For those of you who don't know who Hecate is or isn't misinformed about who Hecate is. Hecate is a uh, gatekeeper. She's supposed to be holding two lamps, not the book, in the keys. She is a, a stargate that's over in New York City. The stargate's open over there because it's upside down. Someone's going in through the upside down or coming through the South Pole from the upside down. All right, entities, energies. Um, I'm not going on what these cards are talking about. I'm going on what I'm guided to read. Yeah, there's a lot of portal use here. Other entities, worlds are using um, this gatekeeper, Hecate. And um, I'm going to read her because a lot of people don't understand her at all. <laughs> um, she is very misunderstood. And you believe what you want. It's all good with me. But I go on what I'm guided to go on here. So she is a gatekeeper. That's why she's over there in New York. Uh, she's the gatekeeper over there. She's being actually held against her will. She's a statue. She's being held against her will. Okay, so um, I wanted to pull up some information on her. She's She is one of the only goddesses that can walk in through worlds. Okay, she will bring you to the other side because we're in the underworld. So she would be the one to bring us into the light or guide us into the light. Um so Hecate was the goddess in Greek mythology, which she was not in Greek mythology, actually. She was way before the Greek mythology. So see how things have changed here, okay? Now, she actually is a protector. Her powers were protect, were passed from Titan to Perseus in the Astria and covered the heavens, earth, and the sea. According to Hesedos Theo. The, oh my God, Theo, Theo, Theogony. The Titans were the first Greek gods born of earth in the heavens. Hecate was the only child who was worshipped in households of Athens where families hoped to receive protection, prosperity, and daily blessings. So the Greek ad actually adopted her because she was actually before the, Gr the Greeks. Okay. Um, she has separate bodies and faces which is a growth, which is an ascension stage, which would be three doorways that our, our soul goes through as we grow and change, okay? It's like the maiden. Um, we don't start off as a maiden. We have to work up to or the crone, okay? The crone isn't a negative thing unless you adopt it as that, and that's okay. Um, the restless dead would be soothed and not delivered vengeance on the family. Further, the home would be blessed and any wrongdoing by family members would be forgiven and household purified. And then she's gotten changed along the way, okay? Different centuries have woven different tales about Hecate and her role as a goddess. She is actually Medusa. Various statues also raise questions as her duties. One depicts Hecate as a friendly dog and other with heads of a cow, dog, boar, serpent, or horse. She holds the keys to the gate. She is the gatekeeper. She's able to bring go into different realms of existence, unlike others that are. Um, I'm trying to find the other information on her. There's a lot of information on her, and there's a lot of misinformation. Either way, this is New York. The Stargate is open. The Stargate is being used. She's a gatekeeper. She's actually a Stargate um, that's being manipulated. Remember, all most of the divine feminine here have been 
manipulated, used against their will. They severed her head because she's a seer. And the, the Vatican has manipulated a lot of the divine feminine for eons. This could be a freedom for her too, but this is definitely a portal being opened and used here. Uh, Valley of the Kings, by the Kings. Death is transformation, a natural part of life. There are consequences to all actions, no matter how small. In this magnetic south pole, there's a, there's a gateway open there. To, the, to a shrine, the north and the south. This is about the, the pole flip as well. New York is going to be affected by that somehow, some way. Palaquí. I want to look at what really Palaquí really is because for whatever reason, this um, card is, I don't know, I'm going on what I'm supposed to go on here. I found it interesting that Hecate came up because I know someone had posted about her and I was like, I understand why you would think that, but always do your own research. Don't go along with the masses. Um, and sometimes people just do and, and that's okay. You know what I mean? Um, world history, foothills of the Chiapas, modern Mexico. Okay, Maya city will flourish between, okay, derives from the Spanish meaning fortified place, the Mayans. This is connected to the Mayans and the Lakama, like the Lakshmi. These gods are here. The magnetic poles are open for transport to the Valley of Kings. The Valley of Kings could be in New York because we are in Egypt. Um, we all know that there's a portal over in uh, Pennsylvania as well. There's a gate there. And remember, underground is all Orion constellation. I'd like to know more specifically what position she's actually in in the Orion constellation because she's a gatekeeper. She'll only let somebody through unless she's in, where she's a stone statue because Hecate's been coming up a lot in my reads. Magdalena, thank you. Um, about her being used against her will. This world will have you think, oh, she's a demon like they do all divine feminines. All divine feminines are demons in this world, didn't you know? She is a gatekeeper, a signature, an energy signature. Big energy signature coming in, warning. Through the mountains. We have mountains here. Where is this Mount Kailash? Let's find out. Kai. Kai. Kailara. Mother Earth. It's in Tibet. An energy signature. Interesting. From Tibet. Climbing, religious, spiritual. The heaven of Shiva. Whoa, is a sacred mountain for regions for centuries. Kailash has also been a Mecca for adventurous explorers. That word Mecca. It's the most famous peak of the Kailash mountain range. Second tallest peak. Most isolated. I think I just got my answer though. She is a virgin. She is an unclimbed mountain. That sticks out. She is sacred mountain for four religions. The Hinduism, Tibet Buddhism, Jainism, and, and Bon. The ladder to the gods to descend to earth and ascend to heaven. Whoa. The gods of Bon. Who represents endless happiness. Lord Shiva lived with Zipavarate. Interesting. The center of the world. 
So she's connected somehow to the center of the world and or are they going to manipulate her to open the gate and or she is going to open to the gate to this. Because Magdalena is here. Magdalena Baja, Mexico. These are gates that are open to the Valley of the Kings. Interesting reading. Interesting reading. The magnetic north with this, the, the, the whole, we all know that the magnetic frequencies all over the place between the north and south poles because of the valley of the kings. A death and a rebirth from Mother Earth. See? More is going to be revealed through the veil. Have the courage to live my heaven on earth. As above, so below. I am aware that sometimes things must fall apart to be reborn as I would wish. Everything is this grand design. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. We are everlasting life. Mother Earth is going through a huge transformation. There's a lot of pull, there's a lot of uh, gates open here. And they're using that gate in New York City. That gate is open in New York. Heads up. Peace, love, and light.